Globally Replicable Solutions. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 94. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 94, December 19th, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video all of our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, and even more details, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the satellite, pioneer members, and consultants helping that don't desire to be credited individually, completed the final 75% of the lesson plan mind map with the central theme of movement and development. You can see this expanding in the background here. This lesson teaches all subjects to any learning level with the central theme of movement and development. We also completed the second half of the movement and development web page that lists the specifics of the lesson plan. You can see this here, complete and ready for use by anyone in any learning environment. Behind the scenes, we finished another 10% of the lesson plan design for open source, bringing us to 25% complete there. We also finished a total outline redesign for the technology and innovation molecule, which we are working on. And last but not least, we finished the first 60% of the lesson plan design for the lesson with the central theme of dreams. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished adding an easy index to the tops of all 35 of our food breakout pages for the open source large scale gardening archive and tutorial. You can see an example of this here. We also completed an update and featuring of the Food Forest Open Source Hub, which is currently our number one most shared page at over 2,500 shares and likes on Facebook alone. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing finished our thermal penetration calculations for the Earthbag Village dome homes and we updated the Earthbag heating and cooling page to include our results. These results came within 3% of our initial calculations and confirmed that we are now ready to confidently move on to the stage of testing through experimentation to get empirical data. 
We also added a why and what section to the Dome Home Footers Foundations and Flooring open source tutorial as part of the preparation for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. And we finished the other half of the materials and image updates for the custom Murphy bed furniture. These updates are all the corrections needed and uncovered in the materials breakdown we just completed. Related to that, we also finished 80% of the materials cost analysis for the furniture design. You can see it here where we are cost comparing all the different types of wood that could be used. Behind the scenes, we finished the first 15% of the Earth Dome window and door framing research and content organization and creation for the crowdfunding campaign. And in addition to this, Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also produced these updates to the complete Earthbag Village evolving in CAD. What you see here is the addition of details to the bathrooms, entry to the tropical atrium, and repositioning the three and six dome clusters. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed the rest of the update for the Building Plans for All Components page for the Duplicable City Center. We also featured it, and uh, now that this page is done, you can download the CAD and SketchUp files for this structure there. We also updated the calculations and details on the Water Collection page for this structure. You can see that here, showing exactly how much water we expect to be able to collect off of the complete Duplicable City Center. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team continued the complete redesign of the primary pages associated with our homepage. This included the first draft of this image and a redesign of our About Us page. This redesign is updating this page to simplify it and reorganize it to function as a guide to our extensive website. In addition to this, we also created new social media imagery and updated and featured our open source consensus page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is creating globally replicable solutions. Our idea is to open source the foundations of a sustainable civilization and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea of self-sufficient and self-sustainable teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs will spread on its own. To accomplish this, we are open sourcing the foundations that we feel are most important first. This includes open source housing, food, energy, education, high good economics, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting all these components together and also producing them in such a way that the globally replicable solutions can be duplicated either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration model that puts them all together. Combining the idea of physical sustainability with emotional sustainability and creating that complete model so that people have that as an option for creating totally sustainable, totally self-sufficient living that shares itself. This is our idea for globally replicable solutions. The idea is to create a solution model that is considered by most or will be considered by most to be far superior to the way that people are living right now. And as I've said, to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and then that's the attractive piece. If people can see that, if people can visit, if people can experience it, then we believe this idea will spread on its own. And so we're bringing together the team to create this. We're bringing together a team with a consciousness for the highest good of all who want to think about 
how we can do this in such a way that it can affect the maximum number of people, that it has a maximum adaptability and flexibility for different views, different values, and different goals. But with our goal being that, that replicability, the idea is we create it so it's flexible so that people can adapt it, we make it easy enough, then people will adapt it, they'll change it, and there'll be thousands of different iterations that will spawn thousands of additional iterations. And so we look at the big picture as the complete teacher demonstration hub, but we also say that we realize that that macrocosm is made up of a microcosm of many microcosms of little components of sustainability. And so if you visit our website and you see everything that we're reporting on every single week, this is what we're all about. The idea is to make every piece replicable and then to put all those pieces together like the pieces of a puzzle to create a complete teacher demonstration hub that is also replicable and to make the entire model of how we are making it replicable also something that people can duplicate. We are literally open sourcing the open source foundation and this is why we talk about creating solution models that create additional solution creating models. It's like the idea of 3D printing complete teacher demonstration villages capable of 3D printing additional teacher demonstration villages. So if this idea of globally replicable solutions sounds fun to you, this sounds exciting to you, uh, we're building a team. We already have a team together. We've put tens of thousands of hours into this creative process, and we invite you to join us. There's lots of different ways to participate, varying from internet participation all the way to complete community membership, become a pioneer member, the ones that will join us, that will move onto the property and actually join us in building one community, creating everything that you see us developing and designing every single week in these updates uh, to something in between, which are the consultants and partners that are just helping behind the scenes and contributing their knowledge and expertise to helping develop the different components too. We're creating world change because we believe that we are the ones that we've been waiting for. We know that the future that we know is possible can be created if enough people just get involved. If enough people want it, then this idea, we can reach that tipping point for humanity and we actually have the ability to create a world that works for everybody. And it doesn't have to take generations. We can do this in our lifetime. And that's why our entire focus is on this idea of a self-replicating solution. An idea that will reproduce itself so it can spread across the world, take the resources to the places that need it the most, provide solutions for every demographic and every area of the world, for any environment. And that's what we're doing. So if you'd like to get involved, join our team. If you'd like to just help us out in the easiest way possible, share what it is that we're creating. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Sue, which are, is our new favorite social media network. We are, of course, on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. And we are on 10 or 15 other social media networks as well because the idea of creating globally replicable solutions will only work if people know that they exist. There's lots of great ideas out there, but nobody knows they exist. And so a great way to help us help the world is to help people understand that we exist, to share what it is that we're doing, to say, hey, check out this open source nonprofit organization of all volunteers. None of these people are getting paid, but look at what they're doing. Look at what they're collaborating on. Look at what they're creating. Look at these open source resources. Look at this education program. Look at these food resources. Look at these housing resources. Look at these economic resources. Help us get the information out there so more people can use what it is that we're creating so more people know what it is that we're doing, can participate if they're interested, or just to help us spread the information. And of course, the number one way that people can help us, people ask us all the time, well, what's the number, what would it take to take one community to the next level? Well, that would be to get the property off the market. The number one thing that could help one community right now would be for somebody to either invest in one community or to donate to our 501c3 and help us get the property off the market. Been working with the same property now for over four years. It is still available, but we don't own it. 
We've built a relationship with the county. We've built a complete business model and business plan around it so we can have a population that has 30% visitors to come and experience what it is that one community is creating and building, to be a part of it, to be hands-on if they want, and most importantly, if they love what they experience. And the property that we've chosen is designed specifically to really, really attract people to come into the experience even before we've built out the complete infrastructure, to have enough draw to have enough allure for people to want to be a part of it even before the infrastructure is done but more importantly for people to want to be a participant in it and when they come and experience it to be able to take everything that it is that we're creating everything that they experience for free take those blueprints those tools those resources those tutorials and to be able to duplicate it with our help and to create the next teacher demonstration community village or hub and so that's the number one thing that people can do to help right now is if you know somebody or you are the person, an individual with the resources or connected to a group with the resources to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in one community, then we would love to talk with you. So as always, I'd like to say thank you. As we continue this process of globally replicable solutions, it wouldn't be possible without all the feedback that we get. It wouldn't be possible without all of the comments and all of the sharing that everybody is helping us with. It wouldn't be possible without all of your support. And it wouldn't be possible without all the little donations that we get as well. The $5, the $10 donations, that's how we pay our web fees. That's how we pay for all the different plugins and all the different things that we're doing and a lot of the different components that we're developing. None of us are paid, so all those little donations help us keep moving forward too. And so Thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting the idea of globally replicable solutions and creating this duplicable model. Thank you for all the comments that we get. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.